Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome back to Glidal Tech. Today I've got another Star Wars video for you, this time on Star Wars patches. So as I'm sure you inferred from multiple previous videos and even from me telling you guys multiple times, I love Star Wars. Star Wars is one of my all-time favorite things in this world. And as such, I'm always on the lookout for Star Wars related merchandise. Um, specifically, this time, I found out about a Star Wars parka. This parka was used by the cast and crew of Empire Strikes Back when they went to Norway to film the Hoth scenes for the movie. Um, I can't believe I didn't learn about this earlier. I mean, with the amount of research I do with Star Wars related topics, um, it's I'm really surprised that this one kind of scrape, escaped my grasp. But I learned about it uh, about a month or so ago when I watched Star Wars Theory's video on a replica parka made by Columbia. That video can be found up here if you're interested in watching it. But that being said, this was an interesting looking parka and I really loved the idea of it. Um, unfortunately, um, number one, this parka was part of a limited series that was done back in 2018, um, so they're long sold out. Uh, number two, these parkas ran for about 500 or so dollars, and so even if I was aware of them back in 2018, I would not have been able to afford one. And third, even if I had been able to afford one, I probably wouldn't have been able to justify purchasing it because a parka would be drastic overkill um, for the slightly chilly winters that we get here in Florida, <laughs> sometimes. Um, but that being said, I still wanted to do what I could to have a Star Wars related jacket because I love the idea. I do have a Star Wars hoodie, um, but that didn't fit the criteria of this Star Wars parka and Star Wars parka slash jacket idea I had in my head. Um, so, a story for another time, but I went out and bought a blue bomber jacket that I'm going to, you know, uh, what is it, sew some patches onto. I got some Star Wars um, themed shoulder patches, but the patch that I really wanted to get, I was really focused on, was the Vader and Flames patch. Um, this is a patch that was on the lower right hand side of the parka used by the cast and crew of Empire Strikes Back. And it was a really cool looking patch. It was based off of artwork by Ralph McQuarrie. You can see the patch right here and also the artwork that um, it was based off of. I really like the design of this patch. Um, and so I went all over the internet looking for these patches. And I found a bunch of different listings. Um, some of which were like just records of um, auctions that were already completed and the item had been sold off of replica patches that were made right after Empire Strikes Back um, was released of these patches. And so while they were nice looking patches, um, I couldn't find any of them that were, you know, for sale or for sale and within my price range. Um, because most of them were a couple hundreds of dollars. And so, I mean, even more so were the original patches used on the actual parkas that the cast and crew used. So I was feeling a bit crestfallen because I really wanted to get this patch for my jacket um, before I found a website. I think it was called Intergalactic Patches. I'll put a link that down in the description. This place had a bunch of Star Wars patches. And that's actually where I got the uh, Star Wars shoulder patches from. But they also had a Vader and Flames patch, which looked really cool. Um, and so I ordered it. And when it came in, this is what I got. I mean... I guess it works, <laughs> but um, I'll put up next to it the, the, uh, a photo of the actual patches that this was based off of, and I mean, I'm a detail guy. I can notice the details in this, the differences, almost immediately, and I was really disappointed in this thing. So, uh, what I did is I pulled up the, uh, the photo I just showed you of the actual patch into Photoshop. I basically traced the outline and copied the colors all over onto and made this a digital mock-up. And then I sent the digital mock-up to a custom patch place called The Studio, which I will also link in the description. Um, and I got about 100 of these patches made up. And they arrived today. Um, so I'm going to be opening these on camera and showing you the patch because I'm really excited to see what these look like. I hope it turns out. Like I said, I've been waiting for this for about a month. Um, so I'm really excited. And the cool thing is, since I have about 100 of these, I'm going to be selling them in the Etsy shop, which is really cool because I think you guys will enjoy these patches as well. All right, straight away, I can open this up, and I've got 100 patches or so here, and man, this thing looks amazing. This is actually pretty big. Um, I think it's about 5 inches tall is what I, uh, or the size I ordered it in by about 3.5 inches. 
I'm not exactly sure there. Um, all I do know is I ordered it to the same dimensions I could find for the actual patch. And man, this thing looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. That is an amazing looking patch. Oh, I'm so happy with how this thing turned out. I mean, right away, man. That's just beautiful. Okay, so obviously here are the two patches. This one's obvious. My patch is obviously way bigger. And uh, this is the other patch. You can see the drastic differences in the background color. This one's purple, whereas this one's blue. You got the, the Vader helmet. Is um, This has weird shaping and shading. This one has a bit more accurate on it there. The Empire Strikes Back logo is really thin. And the TM logo in the corner here is on the edge of the lettering on this one, where it's in the corner here. I mean, I could, I could go talking on for you know quite a few minutes about the differences in these patches. But you, so you saw that. Now take a look at this one compared to the photo up next to it of the actual patch. I mean, I'm so much happier with how this turned out and how well this looks compared to the actual patch. I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, so th this is, this is amazing. I am, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Okay, so ah, I, I'm freaking out. This is gonna go on my Star Wars jacket down about here-ish. This is amazing. I am really happy with how this thing turned out. So this patch is about, uh, okay, 3.25 inches wide and five inches tall, which is good. That's, um, that's actually the size I wanted it to be. Um, when I looked up dimensions on this patch, I believe it was five inches tall and approximately 3.25 inches. Um, so that's what I ended up going with, but man, I'm so happy this came out in the right size. I like it better than this patch. Um, this thing seems way too tiny and definitely the colors are wrong. This seems so much better, so much more accurate and I'm so happy with this. Oh, <laughs> this is, I'm so happy. Um, okay, so like I said, the whole pur purpose for this video is to show you guys the patch and also let you guys know I'm gonna be selling this in the Etsy shop. Um, I'm not gonna sell it for too much. I'm thinking maybe like five, six bucks. Not bad, and that's you know that's got free shipping, so you don't have to worry about that. You know, very cheap. You can get one of your um, one of these patches, um, Vader and Flames patch. Like I said, I got about a hundred of these. Um, I'm keeping one for myself, maybe two. And obviously, um, Zach wants one. I have a couple friends who are um, going to purchase one as well. But um, the remaining patches will be on Etsy for you guys to um, to purchase if you would like. Um, yeah, that's just under a hundred. Um, you guys are gonna need to hurry if you're gonna want to grab those. I don't know how fast they'll go. I'm hoping you guys will be really interested in these. Um, and if they go pretty fast and you guys are really interested, I will order more of these things. But man, I am so happy with how this turned out. I, I I'm gonna say this over and over and over again, but this is just oh, this is beautiful. I I love this thing. Um, <laughs> that's all I have for today. Um, short little video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see some other Star Wars related stuff, you can check it out over here. I'm making a Mandalorian costume. So up top, you can see the, uh, the first bit of that costume where I talk about the flight suit and the armor pieces I've currently cut out. And then down below, you can see the flak vest, um, DIY flak vest I made. Both those are really fun to do and I can't wait to finish up this project. Um, but yeah, please subscribe if you want to see more content and I'll see you all in the next one.